contact here, he might have flung his head up. And I just keep holding to a little drop and release. I might do that four times around the ring. You know, take up a little bit of pressure, push him forward. Okay, so I'm squeezing my legs to keep him going forward, but asking at the top. Okay, that's really hard to do on a green horse because you really want forward. You want that horse to go on forward. So if you start asking for too much of this flexion, you're going to stop that forward movement on a green horse. Uh, but I'll show you how to start getting it. And then at the trot, same thing. When I started asking him to trot, I'd only ask for a little bit and say, yeah, that's what, and then take a little more. But now he's at the point where he can stay and pretty much flex and do good. So, good. so now I'm going to show you on a green horse. Girl. always want them to stand still for a little bit before I do anything. So while I'm doing that, I can ask her to flex to the side. I just want her face. I don't want her to move. So I'm just really relaxing. Good. And then I'm going to ask her with this rein. Slide down low. Let the outside rein slip through my hands. Good girl. Good girl. So if I would ask her to flex right now, she might back up. I'm just going to take hold of both reins and wait for her to bring her head down a little bit. And the minute she does, I'm going to release her. I'm looking for the slightest try at first. Good. So I seesawed them back and forth until she dropped her head. Good girl. So, again, at the walk, that's really tough on a horse that you want to teach forward and potion because she's probably got about 15 rides on her. I really want to teach her forward, and if I start doing too much of drops, good. I'm going to shut down forward, and I just really want forward to be nice, and ooh, really. So I'm going to ask her to stand still. I don't want her to back. I just want her to bring her head down. Good. Good girl. This is probably the, the right there she took a step. I'm going to correct her. Uh, second time I've done this with her, I asked her to drop her head. And the first time, good. I had to back her fanny up on the fence. Now, before you do that, that isolate set takes away their desire to back up because the fence is in the way. Before you do that, on a green horse, you might want to get off on the ground and back her butt up to the fence first to make sure she's not going to uh, ricochet off that fence. And obviously, you don't do it to electric fence. So here I just am saying, give me that soft feel. Good. And get soft to my hands. I'm not pulling on your face. Good. So don't pull on my hands. A lot of times they'll root. They'll throw their head up in the air. I'm glad this is boring for you. It's excellent that it's boring for her. Good. So you just give back. Good. That's very good for her because she flipped her head up and backed up. So then once you have, like I said, I don't want to work on that too much with her because we're working on doing a nice forward walk. But if I want to, if her head goes up, I can just hold either one rein. I'm not caring where she goes. And when she drops her head, get back. Or I can hold both reins. And just but push her. Good. Push her forward. So the minute she tried, I got off her face. All right. And again, so push her forward. They get soft to my hands. Good. And just a little try, I'm going to reward. So I might only do that. You're okay. You don't. So she's not quite sure. Good. I might only do that in three different spots and then work on something totally different, like um, flexing to a halt. There she got stiff. She's still stiff. Good. Flexing to a halt. Disengaging her hindquarters just walking on. So you don't want to, you know, again, I want a forward walk, so I really don't want to, come on, I really don't want to hold on her face too much during any one session. Cheyenne and boo. Because this is Cheyenne, uh, she's got less than 20 rides on her, I'd have to look it up. Um, but my last session was a few months ago, I think, on vertical flexion and lateral here for a one rain stop. 
So I haven't lunged or anything. I just pulled her out of the pen and got on her. Um, I expect her training to be where it was when I stopped last time. Good girl. So walk on. Good girl. I want forward in motion. nothing's happening um, before the shit hits the fan, it will become a muscle memory that she feels this and she's soft. Good. Also that she's soft in her face and not pulling the reins out of my hand. Um, we want to teach her, I'm asking her to go forward, if I have impulsion that she doesn't give it to me, I get it by doing it. Um, we're just doing basic. Um, when I want her to halt, I want to stop riding, Cheyenne, and, ooh, good. Her verbal commands are working, obviously, so I don't have to pull her face. Now I want to teach her to flex at the pole. A lot of times if you do this without backing her up, they'll back up. So I'm sitting up straight, good, and she dropped, and I'm going to give her a release. Good girl. And I'll ask her again to get soft to my hands. Good girl. Very nice. So we'll see if she can do that in a walk. Good girl. But sometimes that can be a lot to ask in the initial ride. Because I just want her to be happy carrying a rider, going forward. But then I can start holding a little bit and squeezing her forward and asking her to get soft and giving her a release when she does. Good. So I'm holding a little bit. Good. The minute she tips her head. I didn't want you to stop. The minute she flexes, I'm going to release. Good girl. Good. I'm just amazed at how quick these guys work. And that you can put them away and they don't forget a thing. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. And we'll see if she can do a halt and have her head down, too. Cheyenne and Ooh. I, I meant a backup. So we're going to see if we can get her to drop her head a little bit before we back up, so I'm going to squeeze her. I don't want her back up, I just want her to get soft in my hands. I'm going to correct her there, get a little soft, and back, back, back. 